This is kind of behind the scenes. Uh, we're having just a little bit of a challenge with, uh, normally we, we simulcast from uh, live stream also to Facebook, but the Facebook connection is not coming through, so we're just kind of focusing on that right now. Okay. While Eddie's uh, working with Facebook, I want to just give you an inside look at things here. Okay. This is the cockpit, and I wanted to show you. I've been working to try to get to try to get Skype working so that a uh, talk show would bring you in live. And if it did, it would look like, let me see, it would look, look like this, or it would look like this. You would be full screen. Let me take that down. This is where you would come in as a remote guest and it, it's as though you're right here in the studio. We've had this for four years and we used it for a while, but it was just so complicated for me that I dropped it in order to uh, work on other parts of the, the system. But it's time to reactivate this and so this is one view. I have another view that I can show you. Uh, in this situation, I would ask Eddie to move a little bit to his right, which would put him in the center of the screen, and then you would be in the center of the other screen. Um, so this, that's one way. Here's an, another way. There are several ways that we can do this. So I'm just giving you some examples. But uh, let me go back to camera three, camera four. This is the cockpit. And that's my nickname for the control room. And here we have the audio board. And this particular board takes four, up to four microphones. And I control a lot of the audio from here. I can also control it from here. Right now I have Eddie's mic open and my mic open. I'm going to close his mic momentarily and just have my mic on. Um, here we have the computer that sends. Let me just take down. Okay, my, my mouse was gone. Um, okay, Rhonda says, I can see you on the face on Facebook on the GWTW page. And Becky Duncan says, I have you on Facebook. So where, uh, let's see, Rhonda says it's on the GWTW page. Becky, where are you accessing it on Facebook? Okay. Is Eddie, are you at live stream? Say that again, please. I am at God's Word to Women, Inc. And is it there? I don't see it Okay, here. then go to God's Word to Women page. Okay. Go up and open it on the page and see what you have. Um, if not, uh, we'll, we'll get some input from Becky and Rhonda here. Okay, so uh, I was showing you. Over here is the monitor that shows me what's going out. And right now, uh, it's showing me in the cockpit. It's one camera, and the camera's over here in the doorway. And then, oh yes, I know, I was letting you know. I'm going to um, go ahead and close something down here and go to PowerPoint. Yes, I'm going to PowerPoint. Okay, now... I'm at PowerPoint and I'm going to bring up the PowerPoint slides on the monitor behind Eddie. Slideshow from current slide. Okay, camera two is Eddie. There you see that just came up. And um, I'm 
Okay. So I can change what's behind him by working with this computer. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to camera four and just let you see a few other things here. This is the main interface, I guess you would call it. In behind this monitor is a little box and it's called a TriCaster Mini. Uh, it allows us to do HD uh, television quality uh, productions and we actually did do uh, a TV program for a while uh, through a, a station in Paris, Texas. It just took a lot of time out of the week and I just felt I couldn't continue to invest that time, but he, Eddie did an excellent job, and the programs were as good as anything I see on TV. I do say so myself. The content was wonderful. Um, but anyway, um, let me show you what else is here. This is the interface. Here I have, I ha I'm going to click each camera. There's camera. I've only got three cameras up tonight, so there's camera two, camera three, camera four, and um, then I have combinations. There's one combination. A second one, when Eddie's teaching, I'll bring that up, and I probably will see, that's M2. I am going to pull that a little closer. You see how I can do that? See how that, that amazing? And there are several options that I have. You'll see that I'm using one background here and another one here. Okay, um, KME3, that's what I was showing you earlier, that if you were to come in through talk show, you would be on Skype, and I can bring you in as a split like this, and Eddie would move to his right. Uh, I can also change that M4 so that instead of Eddie being there, it would be camera 4, it would be me. Or I can put Eddie, Eddie is camera 3, 2 rather. Here we go. He would have to be centered, but you, you get the drift of things, I think. Okay. Let me go back to camera two. There's Eddie. Okay, so when I bring you in on Skype, and I tried again to get, get it working, we're just going to have to go to the experts at Videotex and find out why that's not coming in. Let me show it to you. It would, you would come in on this monitor, and this is the little box, that controls talk show and it feeds into our TriCaster. Now the more modern TriCasters actually have this all built in. But our friend Daryl, who passed away about three years ago, uh, Daryl hooked it up for us and he coached me along. Um, but he's not here now and I have forgotten s how to do certain things. I can't even get into Skype here and I've tried. I ran off the Mm. I ran off the manual, spent some time today studying it, but it didn't give me the clue that I needed to make it work. So anyway, this comes in, not, um, it comes in on net one. I have net one and net two, and I'm feeding it into net one. So I have camera one, which I don't have operational tonight. I have camera two, which is Eddie's main one, and a second one for Eddie if I, for some reason, I need to get a distant shot. And then there's the cockpit shot, and then there's the, the uh, Skype shot for talk show. And then I showed you uh, this, and this, and this, and this. So those are some of the options. Then of course I'm gonna you're gonna lose the picture because now I'm gonna bring up I'm gonna bring up the pictures that are here under GX GFX1 and I can switch those. I've got them automatic on automatic at the moment, but I can bring up 
I can stop the automatic feed and I can bring up any that I need. When it's time for Eddie to teach, I'll switch to another layer of this GFX1. Okay, for now though, I'm back at another feed and I'm going to, yes, I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to take it down. Doesn't want to go down. For some reason, it doesn't want to go down. All right, no problem. Let me see what I can do and why that is not willing to go down there. And we're back. And then there are the overlays mm. um, that I'm I'm uh, doing them manually at the moment. You see them at the bottom of the screen. But I can also put those on automatic. And there are other features here, so many other features, but these are the main ones that I use every week. But the exciting thing, the part that we're we're trying to activate and it will work eventually it's just that i've come to the end of my own uh, ability to tackle this but we'll get we'll get that in and what you need to do as i understand it is you need to sign up at skype and then uh, i'll give you the address and you'll be able to skype in and uh, we'll we'll use that. Now here's the thing that when we do that, let me just switch here, when we do that, I wonder if I can bring that up, yeah, let me do it this way. Uh, this is ME3 and I've got Eddie there at the moment. Let me put my camera up, which is camera 4 for ME3, there we go. And let me pull that in, ME3, pull it in, zoom it in. Okay, when you come in, you, you know if you've been watching, say, Fox News or the other channels that um, bring in remote guests, and they're doing it. I mean, this is, this is what they're doing. They're doing exactly what we have the capacity to do. That, but they're coming in mainly by Skype, the same way that we are, and they're probably using what's called, uh, it is talk show, but it's also called Skype Text, Skype-TX. And they come in, and you'll notice that there's a bit of a delay when they come in, and the people, at home base, whether it's here or whether it's on Fox News, they have to get used to waiting for the person to respond because there is a slight delay between when a person out there in remote land speaks and when mm -hmm. it's actually connected here and then streamed out. So we noticed that um, when we were streaming, we had our friend in New Zealand Skype in, yeah. uh, Sean and Margaret in Ireland sc um, Skyped in, um, Cape Breton, Fern on Cape Breton Skyped in. We had people Skyping in from all over the world and it's so exciting. So we will continue to work on that so that we can make that happen because we really, here, here's what, he, let me go to my camera four and talk to you for a minute. Okay. Our whole, there's a word that I'm looking for, or it's a milieu, it's an environment, is to have two-way communication. We are not interested in talking at you. We want to converse with you. We want dialogue. I, I was checking today and I think it was 1997 when we began. And Eddie, do you remember uh, we, I, we set up in our mobile home in Tulsa? Yeah. Let me see if I, could you move just a little bit? See if you can move to your left and see My if left. you come into the camera. 
Yep, keep going, keep going. Oh, good, okay. good, yeah, good. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, Eddie, but I had a vision for this. And we were in our mobile home in Tulsa. In Tulsa, yeah. Off of 41st Street. Yeah. And I set things up, one camera, one notebook computer, and it was you know the air conditioner and the heat would come on and it was so loud mm. in our little mobile home right that it just was really disturbing yeah but I said you know we're going to do this and I don't know if it was before we could even do our first live stream or very very soon after God moved us into a 2800 foot plus square foot home in South Tulsa, off of 101st Street, wasn't it? Yeah. And we had an incredible studio. Yeah. And I think this was 1997, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, 1997, and here we are in 2020. Mm. After we moved here to Grapevine, we were able to upgrade to the TriCaster, right. which has given us TV quality transmission and bit by bit you know God has provided we now have the four cameras we have the mini TriCaster uh, we have a, uh, a sound an audio board that we started out with two a board for two now we mm -hmm. have a board for four um, it's just amazing to see how God has grown this and if we had more people here this could be 24-7 television. Yep. That's been my heart's desire since before we even moved to Tulsa, was when we lived in our double wide here in, in Euless, Texas. I so wanted 24-7 radio and television. I had a vision for it. Bit by bit, God has enabled us to move in. You know, I don't have a degree in TV. My degrees are in Bible and evangelism and church history and theology and Christian women's studies. But before I ever went to Bible school in um, 1974, 73, mm. August of 1973, I was working at a job I really, really loved. And it was, um, I was a facilitator in a new bit of stuff they were bringing into the educational world at that time. It was experiential education and it was called life skills and it was about really about skills for successful living like learning to cooperate, learning to set goals, learning to listen um, and, and it was so much fun and I was working with adults who had previously not graduated from high school, but in the community college where I was hired, um, these adults, anywhere from 18 to 65 or even older, would come and they would spend two hours a day for, was it four weeks, I think, and I had these wonderful, exciting, uh, experiential, well, they were games, if you like where we all had to participate didn't have to because from the get-go everybody understood they had a choice they didn't have to participate in this course at all they were they were able to say no and they would not be uh, discredited for that in their courses of study but once they agreed to come then they understood more and more the power of will the power of choice that God has given to us humans and um, I had to participate even though I was the facilitator I was required to participate and to do whatever I would expect the students to do in groups of 8 to 12 isn't that interesting Jesus had a group an inner group of 12 his the 12 we call them and here, we, here I was in the early 1970s being um, given this opportunity to facilitate and help develop 
life skills, skills for successful living for adults in groups of mm. 8 to 12. If you have more than 12 in a group, the group tends to break down into two or more groups. And apparently Jesus realized that. He knew that. that. Jesus is pretty smart. <laughs> but if you had fewer than eight, there just wasn't enough uh, dynamic interaction. So eight to 12, and it was so much fun. Um, and it was from that, uh, that time, uh, after two years of doing this, that God asked me to go to Bible college and wow there I was all of a sudden out of this wonderful experiential type of education thrust into being talked at, talked at, talked at day in and day out. What four lectures in morning three or four and I thought you know yes Jesus at times got up and he spoke to the masses but boy, he spent a lot of time coaching these guys along and gals along in how to relate, in, in what, were, what values would help us, what mindset would help the disciples to be successful in their commission after he went off to heaven and gave them his Holy Spirit. And if they would listen to that nudging, that leading, that empowering of the Holy Spirit. They turned the world upside down and that's what you're called to do. You're called to turn your world upside down for Jesus. And so I say all of that to say, you know, we're not really interested in just doing what I'm doing right now, which is talking at you, but we're setting up talk show and Skype and we want this whatever dynamic interaction that we can have. Come to these sessions prayerfully. Ask God if there's a passage of scripture he would like you to, to share. If there's a song, a hymn, that, that is just rising up in your heart or that keeps going through your mind and think, you know, it'd be really neat if we could all sing that tonight. Well, we can, but it's gonna take you participating and not just being an audience, but being participants. Um, so these are suggestions as to how you might want to participate. Now, you might have other ways that you want to participate. I'm just giving you some options here, some ideas, some suggestions. Mm, that's good, Sue. A another way might be uh, to share a comment um, or go ahead, y you know, this is public, this is global. <laughs> So there may be some prayer requests that you're just not comfortable sharing, and by golly, you should not be comfortable sharing everything. You know, Jesus, it, it says in the Gospels that Jesus didn't tell everybody everything. Because, why? Because he knew what was in the heart of people. And so we have to be wise in what we share in prayer requests. Yep. Um, or you may have a, a great report, like for example, Right now, Rhonda and Pete Klug have, this is the day that they closed on their new home in the Omaha, Nebraska metro area. I think it's Blair is the area just on the north side where they're settling. And Rhonda has, has, uh, has uh, sent a note along uh, since we've been on that she's got this on. Uh, but she's not sitting watching because Pete is bringing their furniture and boxes from storage and they're going to be spending tonight and the next few days, even though Pete is working full time, Rhonda's going to be there and she's going to be unpacking and setting up housekeeping and at night Pete's going to be there to lift the heavy stuff. So it's a really exciting time. And I have a ministry of the Spirit for them mm. about this, Eddie. And I yeah. don't know if you're flowing with this or not, yeah, but if sure, so, sure. perhaps you yeah. have the interpretation, because I do not normally flow in the gift of interpretation. Well, just, just let but the Spirit I, flow. I don't have anything I'm just, right now. I'm trying to use this as yeah. a learning experience for people. Sure. But I just have experienced since I started talking about Pete and Rhonda and their new home. Yeah. I have had the Holy Spirit just rise up. And, and one way that you, if you haven't done this, if you haven't functioned in this gift, you can. 
as you feel that nudging of the Holy Spirit rising up in you about something that you're talking about or something that's being said, let it come out. Let it come out. Maybe it'll come out in, in your your native tongue or maybe it will come out in a tongue that God gives you by the Holy Spirit. So, well, so I, 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 I believe, here's what I feel, that I feel like God is saying to them, they've been through a lot lately, and I just feel like God is saying to them that this, this place, this home, it's going to be a place of rest, <laughs> a place of peace, amen, amen. <laughs> a place of tranquility and joy. And so, uh, Pete and Rhonda, this is a place I believe God has connected you to, and it's, it's the place He has chosen for you. And, uh, and that is going to be a great place of rest and, uh, and recreation and joy. Amen. 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 Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.